When he was 13 years old, Henri Ford and his family moved from Haiti to New York. He was bullied and ridiculed as he learned a new language and a new culture, but he persevered, excelling in the sciences, as well as English, social studies, and the humanities, and eventually studied on a full scholarship at Princeton and Harvard Medical School. Dr. Ford was on a path to becoming an internal medicine physician, but all that changed following a 10-hour operation. After leaving the OR, Dr. Dick Wilson encouraged Dr. Ford to become a surgeon. That conversation, that lasted maybe 15 or 20 seconds while waiting for an elevator, transformed my life. It made me reconsider everything. So I drove to my fiance's house that evening and, and said, you can call off the engagement if you want, but I'm going into surgery. He has since devoted his life to the care of the pediatric surgical patient, conducting groundbreaking research into necrotizing enterocolitis, earning numerous awards, leading life-saving surgical mission trips, and mentoring other physician scientists. In 2015, he completed the first separation of conjoined twins in Haiti, alongside local surgeons whom he helped to train. I think it's absolutely important for the members of the House of Surgery to truly understand the concept that we achieve our best together. When we consider the care of trauma patients or cancer patients, it's never more evident that you need a team approach to ensure the very best outcomes. So to emphasize the concept that we achieve our best together is only a reminder to our entire membership that we need to come together. And that means we need to embrace the concept of inclusive excellence. Dr. Ford is currently the Dean and Chief Academic Officer at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and has been a fellow of the ACS since 1996, serving the college in numerous capacities. Membership in the ACS was always a badge of honor. You made it when you had the words facts behind your name. So I knew at an early age, you know, what, intern, second year resident, that I must become a member of the American College of Surgeons. And as he embarks on his year as ACS president, Dr. Ford plans to reach out to surgeons in all disciplines, letting them know that the ACS is here to serve them. And the only way we can be effective, whether in the care delivery model or whether it's an advocacy representing all surgeons, whether rural surgeons, whether urban surgeons, whether suburban surgeons, international surgeons, wherever you're located, by, we can only do this effectively by joining forces together, by uniting, in a way that we've never done before. That's how we truly build our strength. That's how we deliver for all surgeons, but most importantly, that's how we deliver for our patients. <laughs>